Alright, so today we are making a stack. Now this stick I found out at my family's river house and we are getting firewood and I found this stick so I thought hey let's make a video on it. So first things first you want to get all the bark off and with that I'm probably just going to use my knife. So you just gotta until you get it all right. Now, I'm not going to do all of this in front of you guys, but you get the idea. Just peel off all the bark, and you should be good. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video for now, get this all done, and I'll be right back. Okay, so, there's a reason they give you safety lessons with knives, or tell you about safety for knives. I, being stupid and not paying attention to those lessons, just cut myself right across my leg. I don't know if you see that, but... So yeah, it's not fun. You always want to be careful when using knives. Always 100%. And yeah, so I'm almost done this with this. I got that much done. Got all the hard bark off of the stuff so far. I'm just getting it down to the white part. And then after that, uh, I'll show you what to do next. How to shape your handle to how you want. How to, because you can make slits into your handle. You can do all sorts of stuff with the handle. So you just do that and sand it down. You can even put oil on it, which will help strengthen it and keep it protected from the elements. So you can just do all that and yeah, I'll be back when it's done. Alright, so. It took me about half an hour, maybe. Maybe a little longer. Check the time real quick. It is, okay, so I started this project at 7. It's 7.53 now, so it took me about an hour just to get the sanding done, but I had a lot on mine. I don't think you guys can see me. I had a lot on mine, so that's probably why it took so long. But now I'm just on the sanding stage. So, what you're gonna do, you can wrap it, you can do whatever you want with it, really. You just wanna sand it down until it's nice and smooth. Now, you wanna be careful that you don't make the tip too brittle or thin. Now, I might have just broke mine because I made it too thin. So, don't get it this thin. I mean, you still have to put a point on it because the point is what's gonna let you dig into the ground while you're trying to climb up a hill or something so yeah you don't want it to be too thin because it has to hold your weight now you just sand it down i'm probably not going to sand it down all the way because yeah but you want to sand it down until it's all nice and smooth and then up at the handle i'll show you guys real quick now Usually you get this flat thing because when you saw it off the tree or unless you snapped it When you saw it off the tree, it usually it leaves this flat rough edged plane, so what you want to do is you just want to cut the edge Like that you can also sand it too, but I found that <coughs> Sorry about that I found that if you do this first, it's easier to sand and to shape the handle to it. So, I'll show you mine afterwards. I'm almost done here with that. But you really just want to get the, the edge off of it. <coughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so this is where like your hand's going to be all the time. Either your thumb, like that, and your handle. Or sometimes you can even hold it like this if you're just chilling. So that's why I like to do mine this way. <sighs> oh god, damn. Okay, I'll be right back with you guys when I'm done with this. Alright, so I'm just gonna show you what we have so far. Like, 
as you can see that's obviously a little too thin I'm probably gonna cut it a little bit down and then just make the point out of that and then around here I have a, a knot in my branch I have a knot in my branch which I haven't gotten all the skin off of yet I'm gonna call it skin so just chill and then uh, so it's actually a really good stick like a good way to test your staff is this might not sound too smart but you want to smack it on the edge of something like with all your strength if it stays that means it's going to be and i have tested this one that way so if it stays then you're pretty much good to go all right so here's the handle i did cut all this off around here so that's rounded out now so like if i was just wanting to chill it'd be like that and yeah so next thing you can do is one second around your handle you can either put across here down to a certain point on where you want your handle so like here i'll be right back i'm gonna i have one that i've already finished that has the striped handle so i'll be right back and i'll show you guys that okay so the one that i just grabbed that's the one we're making that is the new one so well not the new one this is the one i had already made so the handle i was telling you guys about it's like this it's got crosses I didn't want the burns in it, but my dad, he was messing with it, and he took his torch and torched it down. But, yeah, I don't really like the look of that, though. So, but yeah, the top of this is rounded out as well. This is a lot darker because it was, I used oil on it, which strengthens it, helps it, cures it, protects it pretty much. So, I don't know if I have any oil here, but if I do, I'm going to try and oil that. So, when I'm done with the handle, I'll show you guys what to do with the tip, and I'll show you what to do with this. I might not do the cross, I might do something else, but yeah, I actually kind of like that. I might just dig a little groove in for my hand. Alright, well. Oh, oh. Alright, I'll be back when the handle is done. Alright, so for this staff, the new one that we're building today, well, actually two days because it's kind of, yeah. Alright, so the handle, I just kind of cut some grooves into it like that. So it just, what I did to measure it was I just put my hand around the th thing and put a dot in, f in front of each of my fingers with my knife. And I sanded it down. And now it's all smooth and it's got a good handle on my staff. So, now... For the point, all you really do, it's, it doesn't need to be a super good point, it just needs to be, yeah. So, you just take your knife or whatever cutting tool you have, put a point on it, and then you have something that will stick into the ground. Let's take it outside real quick, and I'll show you. Like, oh, it's bright out here, sorry about that. Okay, so, say, ground, for instance. You're supposed to be able to just stick in and you should be able to push yourself away so yeah yeah alright so that's pretty much the build if you have some linseed oil or any wood oil I suggest putting it on I couldn't find any so that's the build I hope you guys have enjoyed but I, I strongly do recommend the linseed oil. Like, I've had this one for maybe about two years. And, yeah. The linseed oil really does help. So I really recommend it. And, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.